In the first place, exploring new locations is quite thrilling. However, having a companion with whom to share the delight might make it more enjoyable. Kara and Nate, a married couple from Nashville, Tennessee, have been having a great time seeing other nations. They have visited more than 100 countries and they are still counting. As a married couple, they have been traveling since the beginning of 2016 and have been sharing their journey on their own YouTube channel. As you are aware, when the budget is tight, travel may be quite costly. However, how do Kara and Nate pay for their trips, and what do they do for a job besides YouTube? The fact that Kara and Nate Buchanan are both full-time traveling YouTubers may surprise you. And they rely on YouTube for their income. They have other revenue streams that provide them with semi-consistent monthly income in addition to their high YouTube earnings, which are all focused on their YouTube channel. Patreon, online course sales, affiliate marketing, video licensing, brand endorsement, and sponsorship are some of the revenue sources. According to the couple's income and spending report, which they published between April and June 2019, they earned around $88,000 in total after subtracting around $25,000 in their expenditures. They generated around $63,000 net profit. You may now have a basic idea of how they manage to pay for their trips. Moreover, they now reside in and travel in a van. Hence the majority of their trip expenses are saved. Regarding their projected net worth, Kara and Nate are valued at more than a million dollars. As we just stated, there are several sources of their revenue. Furthermore, they have very wise spending practices. Especially Nate, who always looks for ways to reduce travel expenses and primarily makes use of credit card hacks to maximize savings. Let's now examine Kara and Nate's romantic relationship in more detail. When they were university students in 2001 and 2002, Nate and Kara crossed paths. They didn't decide to start dating and move their friendship further until 2003. They eventually made the decision to follow their goal of traveling the world when they got married in the Caribbean in 2013. They may now share their experiences with the globe and chronicle their journeys as YouTubers. They have successful occupations, but they have decided not to have children just yet. As a pair, Kara and Nate have mostly benefited from a large and devoted fan base on YouTube. But in 2020, they had to apologize to their supporters for a moment, and here's why. If you've been following Nate and Kara, you may recall that they have completed visit of their 100th nation. They produced a unique long-form documentary that detailed every step of their journey, including their experiences in the 100th nation. This was different from their usual practice of putting it on YouTube. They turned the video into a paid view. Some of their followers didn't agree with this choice because they felt bad after having to wait for so long, not because it was a sponsored film. Some fans visited Reddit and started berating them. Nate published an apologetic video admitting their error as the discussion surrounding this became more intense. But as it seems not everyone was upset with their choice to release a paid video. Many supporters left positive comments in the video's comment section expressing understanding and support sharing comments like, it did not remotely hurt my feelings. You guys worked so hard and I didn't have a problem paying to watch. Keep doing what you're doing, no apology needed. Honestly, I'm kind of confused why anyone is upset. Seriously, you didn't do anything wrong. It's your content. That brings us to the end of today's video. Did you enjoy their 100th documentary? Share it in the comment section. Stay tuned for more.